6 Favorites from RM Sotheby's Upcoming Paris Sale A ragtag group of bizarre Arnies, Porsches, and celebrity cars. As part of the Retimable festivities, RM Sotheby's puts on a relatively intimate sale in Paris, showcasing an eclectic collection of cars ranging from all eras and nationalities. Compared to some other sales on Arim's docket, its Paris collection puts a subtle focus on uniqueness, rarity, design, and celebrity. Here are six standout cars from the upcoming sale. 1989 Rough Center Club Sport Back in the 1980s, if you wanted a fast 911, you drove the 930 Turbo off the showroom floor. If you wanted the fastest 911, you boarded a plane to Pfaffenhausen and picked up a rough center I suppose it's a bit unfair to simply call the center the fastest 911, in reality, it was one of the fastest cars, ever. With the weapons, grade 3.2 liter twin turbo flat 6 pushing out a severely underrated 469 horsepower to the rear wheels, the Santa crested 211 miles per hour during a test with road and track back in 1987, cementing it as the fastest semi-production car for a few years. Ruff only made about 60 centers, and they don't often come up for sale. This stunning mint green example is a center conversion, originally starting life as a 3.2-liter Carrera. The conversion was completed in 1991, and changed hands multiple times until it finally came to rest in Japan in 1993, where it racked up an impressive 120,000 miles. It returned to Europe in 2015, where it received a handful of updates and repairs. Celebrity cars are strange. They're an odd, intimate slice into the history of the film or music superstar, showcasing taste that extends from the demure, David Bowie's Volvo, to the flamboyant, John Lennon psychedelic Rolls Royce. RM's 1977 BMW 633 that was previously owned by Swedish pop superstar Zabba falls somewhere in the middle of the spectrum. The stylish Bavarian coupe was requisitioned by the band's record company for use on cross-continental tours, serving as a discreet runabout for Björn Alvius or Benny Anderson. No positing automatic for ABBA, it seems, the car comes with its original 4-speed manual transmission. Let's send this on a weird note. Tossed in amongst mid-century Ferraris, 1980s Porsche 911 S, and classic Corvettes, this burnt Sienna Bizzarini stands out like a drop plate of spaghetti. Don't worry if you've never even heard of this insectoid two-seater, neither have we. According to the listing, this was an ill-fated attempt to revive the bygone Bizarrini nameplate onto a modern sports car manufacturer. $3.5 million was invested by Magnate, a large-time manufacturing corporation, working closely with Bizarrini to create a prototype to travel the auto show circuit. After a period of development that lasted from 2005 to 2009, the project was abandoned, and the car was left disassembled in Germany. A Bizarrini enthusiast purchased the P708, and brought it back into complete condition. He's put roughly 1,000 road miles on the clock since. Regardless of slightly generic styling and the unfortunate use of autometer gauges, the Barchetta should be a hoop to drive, thanks to an exceptionally low curb weight and the 7.0-liter LS7 V8 thumping out back. Despite the strange kit car appearance, it's expected to sell for a high pre-sale estimate of $620,000, 